the Viper, Viper Shatter Shadow Buster. <laughs> the Viper Shadow Buster. Uh, it's a light. We're gonna install this over the dartboard today. On Daddy DIY. You're watching Daddy DIY. All right, so this is going to be the unboxing and review and Daddy DIY install. So you get three treats in this video. Oh, we got a box in a box. Buster by Viper. I was saying around Viper Illuminator. Pretty cool. Nice box. Cool artwork. That's what the final thing should look like once we get it on. Let's go ahead and get it open. Room for air in there. Okay, so inside the box, like you got this device here, some bubble wrap. Thank you for spending your money. Instructions: How to work it. Okay, so here we go. It's pretty much it. That's just it. It's just the the viper. Got a uh, got a on and off switch there, and three LED lights. Uh, like this is the battery compartment. Got like two double A's on this side. Two more double A's. So four double A batteries. I suggest you get the rechargeable batteries because this is going to be something that we're going to be using over and over and over. So whenever we're not paying, you can pop those out, recharge them, have them ready to go anytime. You're going to have a big night or something like that um, so these are to be mounted on top of the frame and it's going to hang over the dartboard and then you can flip it up out of the way if you want to so that's the purpose of the flaps that's how you want to install it and you also can use a um, ac adapter to plug it into direct power if you don't want to use batteries I want to use batteries because I want the clean, neat look, no wires, no cords. All right, so I'm gonna get the tools, uh, some screws, my drill, and then I'll meet you all back over at the dartboard. All right, so remember it came with just the device itself, no tools, no screws, no anything. Now you don't need all of this, this is just what I have. This is my drill, uh, my drill bit pieces, and my, what are these drills? My other drill bits <laughs> and my battery pack. All right, so I have four screws that I got. I got just a box of screws in the back. Got a Phillip head, uh, about an inch screw, just enough to hold it down. It's not very heavy, but keep in mind that you're going to have to have your own screws and of course something to put it in with. Um, just wanted to throw it to you back there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I, I know you can edit it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so I have a correction about it not being screws. There are screws included. Little bag there, four screws. Um, when I opened the back to 
put the batteries in, this was jammed in the battery slot. So when I open it, the screws popped out. So it does have screws for you to use. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these put in. All right, so I'm just getting my center mark so I can get this thing centered. This is exactly two feet. So my center mark is right here at the foot. And that's actually exactly right where my nail is. So I must have done this already <laughs> when I was nailing this board up. All right, so since we got a, a mark, center mark right there, we're gonna center this light with that center mark. Right there. Center that light with that center mark. Put it right there, bring it down. And this is a solid wood frame behind this. So it's perfectly flush and flat. But I got this on back, so let's turn it around. Line it back up to the center. There we go. Put the flaps up. So now I'm gonna put the screws. Can you see them up here? I'm gonna put the screws right in, going straight into this wood. It's gonna hold it down so this can illuminate the dark board. The drill. It's all around the bar. Right. Some pilot holes. Bits up. Now I know I remember I telling you that it did come with screws, but I think my screws look better, so I'm still gonna use my screws. Unless they don't fit. <laughs> but these are a little bigger, a little stronger. Bit more bite. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take that out a little bit. Go down here to the other end. not to over tighten them so it don't change the position of your lighting because this is on the swivel so if you're doing too tight it'll pull up I want my light to be all right this certain position Look at he got him a bullseye. 
So I guess the light working. So there we have it. I like the way it looks anyway, even if it's not doing nothing. It looks cool. Another element. So, one more thing for the man K. See you on the next one. So that's the review. If you like that light, now if you put it in different angles and different positions, you can change how the light look. These rotate and move around. And then you can also, you know, mount it, put something behind it. If you want the light to be in a different position. But for me, with my LED lights that's in the room and this, it's just enough. I'm just getting this position. It's just enough light for me. I I think I'm satisfied. <sighs> Might change it later, but yeah, I'm good. Comment, tell me what you think. That is the the Shadow Buster by Viper. Shadow Buster by Viper. Battery operated. Clean cut LED three light system. Daddy DIY, the channel of arts, crafts, and do-it-yourself projects. Keep watching for more videos on miniature model homes and popsicle stick creations from me, Daddy DIY.